When we're going through a heartbreak and the greatest pain of our life, we have literal prose in our hearts. And this is what I mean by this. I'm an English teacher and I teach books for a living. And some of the most amazing books were written from a place of heartbreak. Some of the most amazing songs in the world are written from a place of heartbreak. We are such complex, divine, beautiful beings. And when we go through a heartbreak, it is the most tender time for us to create art, for us to get in touch with our deepest and most profound thoughts. And so keeping a journal with you at all times will help you to get these thoughts out of your body and into the ether. And what is the value of that? Well, it will help you to heal because you're not only releasing those pent up thoughts and those angsty energies, but you're also getting them on paper, which there's something so powerful about getting our words on paper or saying our words out loud. There is a reason that people recommend verbalizing your manifestations, verbalizing your goals, writing down your goals, creating vision boards, because when you get them out of your being and you get them on paper, you get them out into the world, there's something very magical that happens. You not only physically feel better, but you are now letting the universe know, God, source, whatever you want to call it, what your deepest feelings are. And in most cases, even the feelings of the most intense pain and anguish and loss come back to love. We want love as human beings. And as we release those emotions out, we are signaling to the universe and to life that we want love, that we need love, and we will energetically bring that into our lives. And there is not a better time to bring more love into your life than when you are going through a heartbreak. And so make good use of this fertile, magnetic, powerful time when your heart is literally broken. Get your emotions out into the ether, Get them on paper and you will see the most miraculous healing of your life unfold.